I do remember my first day, we had a uh, transition half day and uh, uh, as we came up I just saw these people and I thought, oh no, this is going to be so different. I'm, uh, I'm the only person who has a hearing loss and, and everyone was totally fine with that. That was smooth and it was great. My name's Emily. My name's Kylie. And, and we're, we're both, both in, in Year 7. seven. It was really nervous coming to Year 7 because we didn't know what it was going to be like and how we were going to cope with all the homework and stuff. I think the biggest difference when you're going into high school is that You've got to move, you're going from class to class and you're not sitting in the same room and if you've got an RF or some listening device it can get difficult to pass it around from class to class. I was worried about not knowing the teacher's name. I was scared of what like people would think of me or what if I get bullied and every school is different so you never know. For most kids you've just come out of the school that you're the oldest kid and now you're sort of like the small fish in the big pond. If you are getting bullied the teachers and the students are there to help you. I enjoy maths a lot. My favourite subject would have to be cooking. I absolutely love cooking. My favourite subjects probably are Indonesian, which is sorry, a language other than English, um, English and humanities. Cooking and sport. Like, they're my favourite subjects. I like sports and art. I like drama because you kind of get to let loose and just be yourself. I love everything. For soccer, like sports. Yeah, and English. I'm very excited to be finished school in three years. I really want to work. It's good being able to make your own choices so you learn from your own mistakes. I, mean, I think the key is always find a starting point so if you know someone from your old school start with them and then branch out from there. Uh, we all have each other and we all help each other if we need to. And you meet friends along the way. Yeah. You know? I, I'm having a good time in secondary school. Um, if you're going into high school and if you're hearing impaired, just be yourself, like don't worry what other people think. There's nothing really to worry about. If you get the message across to the teachers that you may find it a little difficult, they will understand and they will recognise that and help you out. So mainly life's a climb, but the view's great. Don't underestimate how helpful some people can be and want to support you through your hearing loss and give everything a go 
and because um, there, there are so many, probably for most high schools, there are so many opportunities, so many paths that you can take and uh, make sure you have an FM system because it really is so beneficial. If life gets tough, never give up and just be yourself and if people don't like you, who cares?